Okay, second time. I originally shot just a few minutes of the first video and then this fur beast came up on the table and just, it was a whole fiasco. I love her, she's adorable. She's a little kitty. Anyway. This will probably be one of my most important videos that I make, I have made so far. Um, some of you may have seen uh, my story, Journey Through the Dark, which is not complete, but That's okay. The whole point of me making those videos was for me um, partially because anytime I spoke of my pain um, I'd say 80% of the time I was dismissed, if not more than that. People would either give me reasons why it happened, um, basically excuses or Just not, not very supportive. It's not what I need. Some people didn't care and others tried to give support or advice the best they could. Um, you know, th their version, what would help what would help them in that situation. And sometimes that's all that people can do. Um, but I've come to find whether through my sheer stubbornness so I said this before that my life is on a set track. It always has been. It always has been. I don't, I've never had much choice in my life. At all. Because I follow my intuition. I'm guided all the time. And the thing is, any important decision I've ever made has been based off of intuition. It comes from a source that is beyond my mind and beyond my feeling. So, the thing is, is that everything I'm going through and everything that I've gone through has been led by the universe itself which is that that's what intuition is it is the universe your intuition kicks in because you are meant to be a certain way or do a certain thing at a certain time, in a certain place, sometimes with a certain person, because you are fated to do so. My life has very much completely been fated.
There are things that you're destined to do for most people. You're destined to do things. But destiny can be changed. Where fate cannot. Fate cannot it is something you sign up for. Well before you were in these meat bodies. <clears throat> and I'm saying all this because... I want to be known that um, at least in my life I wouldn't take back any of the horrible things that have happened which there has been many it's pretty much nearly that's all that there's really been But the universe has been my best friend. Because through all those experiences, I've grown, I've learned, I've gotten these abilities that I have to know things, to be able to see when others cannot to be able to know the unknown to be able to persevere when otherwise you should have eroded away a long time ago And uh, what better gift to have all that. To know that it takes much more than a mountain to crush you. To know that your physical form can be crushed but you are immortal. To know that when you have nothing at all and you can't see anything, something still sees you. And that when you are cast out, rejected, and tossed aside, that you are still connected. I say that because some would argue to say, that God hates me. What you consider God. What I call the divine construct. What I call the universe. But. I will always challenge that. I will always challenge that. Because I've gained so much. When I look at the pain that has plagued 
those that have come before me. And I champion through it. When I see how my fellow men now treat each other, I'll not be a part of it. But your baby boy is always part of the solution. I always have been, and I always will be. The light and the dark. There are parts of it that really hurt. A lot of it. Even the memories that I have that are kind to me and that are good and nice. Are steeped in a grief I could easily overshadow it. And that's been a very hard one for me. The shadow always looms. because of the light that you cast and understanding that can put a lot of things in perspective to be the light means that you do not succumb to the dark that is plenty. I say it's plenty because in this day and age, even though it is to be much better, for many, 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 many years, the dark has won out so to speak. You could get away with so much being vile with something to look up to and those that would twist and manipulate are seen as gods. I want to promise you something. That is changing. I promise you that. If you talk to your mother or father or grandparents, you might be able to gather that they may be a little pessimistic. Not all. Of course.
because many have lived during a time when <clears throat> cruelty won out. It is the great wheel. We were always meant to lose our connection to something that is far beyond what people, most people call God right now. We always were. Anything in life that we lose, we get back much more concrete. A lot of the times it's not in the same form. So it's hard for us. I could go on and on about stuff like that. I kind of already did. But I don't want this video to be too long. Because I'd like very much for people just to watch this once, at least. It'd be pretty important to me. If you did, I'd appreciate it, you know, um, I'm just going to be as honest as I possibly can be. It has always been very difficult for me to be in this body. Not that this little face isn't adorable sometimes. <laughs> it is. I can be cute sometimes. I guess. It's not that. It is what comes with being in this body. The pure essence that you are you come into this body and it's very difficult for you to stay pure meaning you are kind of heart you are compassionate you are you are love It is not a curse, it is an experience that we choose. We are so much more 
than these bodies. But that's why we do it. Think if you play video games or you don't. Let's say you don't play video games. Let's say you play Monopoly. And you are incapable of losing. You probably wouldn't keep playing Monopoly. There's no... If you always win... Are you really winning? If something is one way all the time, at some point, you're going to want to be another way. So, we come down here to have experiences and to grow, yes. Because we are so powerful, we give that power away and we come down here. I guess a way for you sciencey people to understand it. They say we only use blah 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 percentage of our brain, whatever it is, ten or twelve or nine or five. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't follow it. I know it enough to know that that percentage is very small. I don't even think it is in the double digits. So, that's a good way to look at it. For you sciencey people out there. We only use a percentage of our brain. And this has been posed before, what if we could use all of our brain? Eventually, you'd get pretty sick. Of everything being perfect all the time. Meaning, perfectly in working order, perfectly knowing everything, perfectly having no obstacles, perfectly because there is no imperfection. It sounds good. Like, Damien, why wouldn't you want that? Why wouldn't you want to be that? It looks good on paper, but once you have it all, you wish you didn't. And the point of this video in a way, for me, on my part, personally. The opposite is also true. When you lose so much, you eventually wish
if something would move in the right direction. Something. You eventually wish that you could go back home in the stars. Where things are nice. And I said that when sand got in my eye, I'm not, yeah. I said that it is hard to be love and light in a world that is so grim. But, uh, this is just what I gathered from my travels and my experiences. Because for me, being love and light, it's all, I can't be anything else. And every time I try to not be that, It feels so wrong, and it's only been very few times in my life it feels so wrong. Because I know that's what I am. I'm just a little angel, sweetie. I always have been. People have taken advantage of me because of that so much in my life. Just like they do now, like they always have. But when you are the candle in the cave, which is what I always have likened my life to. You are the only source of light. And there are beings that live in the dark. And I don't know of any entity when being in the pitch black would not go towards a light any light that is how it operates because we're all just trying to find a way out of this cave. I don't mean for this video to be sad. It's a very, uh, It's a very powerful but sensitive subject for me. Um, because I've been faced with many times in my life have a way out. I've been, I'm more intimate with that than probably anything else other than loving all the time, 
doing my best. I have always had one foot out the door. Not because of physical ailments or mental illness or anything else other than I know it's my choice. And I've talked about this so much. So much. And I've reached out to so many people about it. And people just don't want to connect. Or can't. When someone is in pain, some emotional pain, some deep pain, I find it to be an insult and an absolute disgrace to love in its entirety if I were to hand them a band-aid. And that's what a lot of people would like to do with me. The answer is you don't punch shadows to make them go away. You make your light brighter. They always say fight fire with fire. Pretty stupid considering it takes water. That's how it goes with most things. You don't fight the dark with the dark. In essence, you don't really fight the dark at all. You just love. And I've found that so many people, in my experience, just in this boy's experience, they just don't do that. It's not anybody's responsibility. You know, to help those get out of the dark. In my life, And it's true for me. I feel like people do have a responsibility to try. And you know, 
I can't blame them if they don't. You either get it or you don't. You're either there or you're not. I just wish that more people were there than not. If I had any message at all to its purest form, It would just, just be there. And all of your weaknesses, and all of your scars, and all of your shortcomings, and all of your failures, and all that you consider ugly, fucking be there. You know? Just those things that you despise when you love and you connect none of it's ugly as long as you're coming from a place of love you know it's all love it's all love, baby. <laughs> this sand is, it's just, we have ceiling sand, it gets in the eyes. You know, it's a, it's a design flaw in the house. Um, to have sand in the sand, you know, we're learning. So, uh, you know, uh, boop, boop, boop. Okay. Anyway, this video is a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. It normally is. Because this is the only way that I can speak and it might possibly reach somebody. So I talk a little bit longer and make more jokes than I should. And I always knew the stuff that I say mattered. It never felt that way. Because people always dismissed me. Yeah, you know. Treated me like I was expendable. And sometimes less than worthless. And there is such a thing. But it didn't fucking matter to me of what I knew. But it seems the feeling <laughs> is what's gonna get me this time around. Ah, what are you gonna do? You know, start over. At some point.
just keep a trucking. Basically, come here, come, come closer. Come closer, come closer, come closer. Don't kiss me. Stop. All right, a little bit closer. And kiss me, right? Mwah. Okay. Back up. Oh, stop, stop. Stay back. Okay, a little bit closer. Mm. Look at you. Wow. <laughs> I, uh... I want you little peoples to know, and big peoples, I don't want to be sizest. I want you to know that I love you so much. I may not know who you is, I don't know who you be but I can almost guarantee you even if you feel like the worst person ever I could find so many things to love about you and I hope that you love you Even if the world makes you feel like you shouldn't. You're better than all that. I raised you better than that. I didn't raise you. Maybe I did, I don't know. I don't know what I'd do with half my time. Could I raise a bunch of children or grown adults that I don't know about? Yeah, anything's possible. So if I owe you some child support or something, um... Oopsie. Got the ball. Sorry. But if you behave and you're nice, I'll take you to McDonald's and I'll get you two small fries with a McFlur but you have to extra be being haved because if you don't be being haved extra most hmm, guess you have to make do with just two small fries so balls in your court I'm looking at you you gotta be being haved I love you. I love all of you. Loving people is the whole reason for my existence. Even whenever I wish that, that wasn't true, it is. Stupid ceiling sand. What a ridiculous. <laughs> I love you. And I wish you the best. I have to go. This ceiling sand is getting You're not buying it, are you? 
No. Okay, bye now. I'll call you. I'll call you. Love you guys.